So we're out here on the lake today. I'm gonna try out the uh, PWM controller. Uh, so basically it's, uh, if you can see it there, it's this knob now, instead of the uh, little click controller that I had before. Uh, you got a button here that turns it off, turns it into reverse, and then puts it back and forward. So I can already tell you this thing is awesome. I can just barely turn that knob and it puts me whatever speed I want to be going. Uh, before with the, uh, the old controller, you basically had five options, you know, click, 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 click. And in a kayak, even speed one was way too fast if you're trying to troll the bank. It just, uh, I don't know, it was almost, you know, speed one just wasn't good for fishing. Uh, and the other issue that I had was I wanted something because I used the foot pedals to steer. Uh, let's see if, we, you know, you can see that that does my motor for me as far as the steering goes. So if I get caught in a lot of wind, it would be nice just to set my speed, try to match it with the wind. And then I can just use my foot pedals to, uh, keep where I want to you know, keep me where I want to stay and then I can still fish. Uh, with the trolling motor, that little click dial thing just uh, wasn't doable. I mean, the wind would never blow hard enough that I could leave it in in uh, the first step there and, and uh, be comfortable and try to stay in the same spot. With this thing, is just, I mean, I can slow it down uh, whatever speed I want. You can see there we're doing two miles an hour and the uh, the old the old clicker uh, just the very first click I'd be over one mile an hour and just wasn't wasn't fun uh, so I was constantly having anchor and do do this do that and uh, this thing like right now I've got to slow it down to one three yeah it's about one three right now and I could slow it down even further if I wanted to we're gonna drop it down to. You can see how slow we're just easing along. I could fish at this speed, no problem. And then we want to kick it up. It goes. Uh, actually, I don't know if it's because of maybe no wind today or what, but it's actually going faster than uh, what it was with the uh, cook dial. Cook dial, I can get up around four. 0.18 so it's a little faster and it's supposed to be better for the batteries which we won't know until later today how that's going to work out but so far I'm happy it uh it's doing as advertised and uh should make today a little bit more enjoyable there's not much wind so I won't be able to test out that unless it starts getting windy later but uh, as of right now, we're going to start fishing. I'll check back later. So right here, I'm just barely creeping along. We're doing uh, 0.6. And you see how slow I can just ease on along. And the good thing about this is, you know, the steering still works because the motor battery is going. So, I can pretty much go as slow as I want to go. Stay right in this little spot right here. The wind is actually pushing against us a little bit. And I can use my hands to fish and use my feet to steer. Still looking good. Now this will take a minute, so bear with us. But basically, I'm just going to show you. My fish finder says it's going to zero miles an hour, so it don't even register how slow I happen to be going right now. But obviously, we're doing some kind of speed with the trolling motor because the foot pedals are still working. 
I'll show you this little cove right here, how it jets out. And, uh, I, mean, I, I don't even feel the boat moving, to be honest with you, but obviously we are moving. And I can just steer right around this cove. Basically as slow as I want to go. The knob is super sensitive, so it does take you a minute to kind of dial in what speed you want to be at. The wind starts blowing, you got to adjust a little bit here and there, but... Not bad. Not bad at all for a $20 part. Only downfall may be the longevity, because it's obviously got a little bit more sophistication going on than uh, little rotary dial that comes with the trolling motor. That thing's built like a tank. This thing here, you know, it's got resistors and capacitors and blah blah blah. It's got all kinds of crazy stuff in it that could probably go bad over time. And I've got mine sealed up in the hull of the kayak. I've never gotten a drop of water in my kayak, so it should be good. But you never know. But worst case scenario, buy another one. If, uh, if this thing proves to be an issue, I may just uh, keep one on hand. But uh, you won't know that until, I guess, until something goes wrong with it. But anyway, if you stuck with me through that there, you saw how we went right around that little cove, little turtle over there. Staying right with the cove, just with my feet, fishing at the same time. Got him! Come here, buddy. Well, I think it's been over five hours since we started out this morning, and uh, we're still doing great with this battery. We're still on the first battery, and uh, I don't know if you can see it there. But started out with 13.3 or four volts this morning and I'm at 13.1 13.2 right now that's five hours later and that's after going around this whole entire lake every inch of the bank And a few, a few runs out in the wide open. Just basically trying to make sure this thing's going to work and make sure the battery's going to be okay. And I don't see any any issues. This battery will go down to 10 volts before it will uh, completely stop on me. And I'm still at... Uh, 12.4 with it wide open. That's what it cranked everything everything it's got right now. So I'm uh, very happy with this thing, and uh, hopefully, it'll be one of the last things I have to do with this thing. So if you guys are interested in a PWM and you've been thinking about it for your kayak. I would not hesitate at this point to uh, go ahead and get one.
dead fish over here. Hmm. Yummy. All right, well, if you guys got any questions, uh, just let me know. By the way, the installation, I think, simple. It's four wires, two from your battery, and then two going back to the motor. Uh, motor itself has four wires going to it, but you're just going to use the red and black. And uh, you don't even have to hook up the other two wires that are there. So. And then you just got the little knob and the button for reverse. And it comes with a little, little uh, like a voltmeter to tell you the percentage and whatnot. But I didn't even, I just stuck that in the hull of the kayak because I don't really care. I'm not going to be looking at that thing when I'm turning the knob and messing with all that. So, Alright, if you got any questions, let me know.